This time around, I'm in Norway teaching a course, but I thought, you know, I'm going to take a look at what's new and cool in Azure AD Connect version 2. So stick around, you might learn something. Hi everyone, Andy Malone, Microsoft MVP, as well as a Microsoft Certified Trainer. Thank you so much for joining me. This is where it all happens. This is where I teach. Well, one of the places anyway. And I just wanted to get together with you this week to talk about Azure AD Connect version 2. It's a major upgrade by Microsoft that's well, it kind of started out life as uh, DurSync, then it was Azure AD Sync, and then it became Azure AD Connect. But all along, it's been on old versions of Windows Server. Windows Server 20, 2008, 2012, and so on. And it also came bundled with older versions of SQL Server Express. This time around, things have changed. So SQL Server 2019 is the bundle that it comes with. And the fact that you can no longer install it on anything less than 2016 and 2019 versions of Windows Server. So what, how does it install? I thought I'm going to cover that in the video uh, and just talk about some of the new features. So um, if you've not subscribed, of course, please go ahead, click on that subscribe button up there, ring that bell and you're guaranteed uh, not to miss out on the good stuff in the future. And as always, I love your feedback. So any questions, any comments, get them down below and I will do my best to answer them. So let's take a look at the demo and I'll be back at the end to round things up. Enjoy. Okay, so let's take a look at installing Azure AD Connect version 2.0. So I'm starting here in Microsoft 365 and I'm going to head down into the admin center and I'm going to switch over into Azure Active Directory. Now you could actually install this through Microsoft 365, but it goes through a number of setup checks, which to be honest are a bit of a pain. So I prefer just to scroll down here and you come into Azure AD Connect here. Now you've got a couple of ways of installing it. You can also do a cloud uh, install. So there's the Azure AD Connect Sync tool, uh, which is really nice. And if you've not seen that, go ahead and look at one of my other videos. But for the purpose of this demo, I'm going to go ahead and download the actual product itself. Now, just to let you know, as I've mentioned, the, the prerequisites for this, you must be running uh, Windows Server 2016 or 2019. Um, you also... It, just so you know, it comes with a version of SQL Server Express, which is the latest version of that. Okay, so if you're running an older version, then it, it's not going to work. So I'm just going to go ahead and just install that. And now I'm going to go in and configure it. All right. So first up then, um, you we're in Azure AD Connect here. And I'm just going to go ahead and accept the license. Um, which is fine and you can do an express setup or you can do a custom setup uh, Again for the purpose of this demo. I'm gonna it, I'm gonna go ahead You could if you've got a uh, an existing SQL server if you've got a large number of users I definitely recommend creating an existing service account here um, For the purpose of this little demo though. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the express setup so first up, you need to put in your admin uh, username and your admin password, and this must be a global admin, all right? So in Microsoft 365 or Azure, you need to have that global admin account. All right, so clicking next, and you can see the, the setup experience. If you've not installed Azure AD Connect before, it's a pretty similar experience to what it was previously. Um, now, it's automatically detected that I want to join a domain, an Active Directory domain. So in this case, I'm just logging on to Contoso, which is my internal. Um, again, for the purpose of this demo, I'm just running with a demo domain name here. But in reality, you would have done some preparation in advance. So um, it shows you what it's going to do. And I'll go, OK, I'll go ahead and click on Configure. And it will now go off and do that for me. Okay, so configuration is complete. 
So I'll go ahead and click on exit. Just to remind you that if you're running Active Directory, to go ahead and engage that recycle bin. And remember, the recycle bin allows you to delete objects uh, and then being able to restore them. So going back into Azure AD, I'm just going to go into my user accounts here. And it takes a couple of moments and, and you just refresh the page. But pretty much you'll see that my users will now start to sync in um, and also your groups as well. Now, the one thing, of course, that doesn't come in are devices. And you need to basically, there are two things that you need to do. Now, as you can see, I've gone into my Microsoft 365 account here. And to be honest, it's, it's pretty much the same. You get the same settings. You'll notice that there was an on-premises directory sync account there. Uh, again, this is a service account. So you don't really need to do anything with that, if I have to be honest with you. All right, so just to show you that it is the same Azure Active Directory, everything's the same and everything works. Now, just to mention that once the accounts have come in and synced, so here I've got Aaron, the one thing that the sync tool does not do is it doesn't license the users. So it's really important that you come in here and you uh, obviously assign the appropriate license. Now, do remember that if you don't assign licenses, you're not being charged for them. You're only charged from the point that when you actually go ahead and assign them. So really important, don't forget to assign your users. And also, by the way, um, I'm often asked this question, Andy, if I don't assign a license, can my users actually still log in? And the answer is yes, but obviously they won't have any apps. So if any of you are planning to do the Microsoft exam, um, that always comes up as a question. OK, now the next thing I want to do is I want to enable um, device synchronization. So how we do this, there's a couple of places that we need to switch this on. So I'm going to go into tools and I'm going to go into my uh, group policy management uh, here. Now, um, just to mention that I do have users and groups and you know, if you were, for example, if you had Intune and you wanted to manage machines as hybrid joined machines, then it's really important that you set this up. Now, just while I'm here in um, Azure AD, I just wanted to mention, because the sync was finished, that you go ahead and enable that recycle bin. So that was just to remind you uh, to do that. Now, just to remind you that this is an irreversible action. So if you go ahead and do that, you can't undo it. But it basically means that if you delete an object from Active Directory, it will delete it from the portal, but you'll be able to restore them back so you don't have any broken objects. So here I am. I'm going to go into Group Policy on my domain controller. I'm going to expand my default domain policy, and I'm going to edit this. So there are a couple of places where you need to switch this on. So I'm going to go into Policies and Admin Templates. And in the Admin Templates, I'm going to go into Windows Components. And I'm going to go into Device Configuration or Device Registration, I should uh, mention. So I want to register my on-premises computers as devices in Azure AD. OK, so in what's happening is it will turn these into hybrid devices. So that's the first place that you need to switch on. Um, just to remind you, just do a quick um, GP update slash force. So just to update group policy. So that's what I'm doing here. All right. So just GP forward slash force up. Yeah, there we go. Great. So I'm just going to close that down. And that was the first place that you need to go. The second place I need to go is in uh, Azure Active Directory Connect. So I need to go back into Azure AD Connect. And this is one of the great things about this tool is that if you make a mistake or you want to go back and change something, it's really easy to do that. So we simply just click on Configure. And for this demo, I'm just going to come here and I'm going to choose um, Device Options. Okay, so I'm going to go into Configure Device Options.
So there's other things you can change the way the user signs in, for example, if you want to go into federation and so on. Um, so you, again, you can change that, you know, the, the way the user signs in there. Um, just to show you that, actually, so let me just log in here just so that you can see that. And this is quite uh, quite good to see, actually. Let's put in the right password, of course. All right. So you can see here, I'm currently in password hash synchronization. You can change to PTA, which is pass-through authentication. I can also enable single sign-on. So if you're using Windows 10 devices, um, that's great. All right. So to enable, enable single sign-on, I just simply go into my administrator account and I just need to put in my um, on-premises credentials. And I'm going to go ahead and start the synchronization process. And there we go. Okay, so I'm just going to give it a moment and then I'm going to go back in. Now, just to say that if you do get an error message, it's just to let you know that it's probably still syncing. All right. So for the device options that I mentioned earlier, I'm going to go into the device options and you have two options. Do you want to enable hybrid or do you want to enable device write back? So for this demo, I'm choosing hybrid, of course, and uh, just put in my uh, global admin credentials. <clears throat> okay, and you can see I want to configure hybrid or device write back and so on. So for this one, I'm choosing the top option and I'm clicking next. Um, it's Windows 10 devices. So domain joined. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to click next. And I'm going to choose, just click on Contoso. So that's the name of my domain. And I'll click on add. You need to say I want to sync it with Azure Active Directory. And I'm now prompted for my username and my password. Okay. Now you'll also notice that below it actually generates a PowerShell script, which is really useful actually. Um, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm done. Click on next. And there we go. Now this can take just a few moments. Um, so, it, you know, for the, once it starts to sync, you will then see the devices start to appear. So I get a green light. Everything looks good. And that's it. It's now synced. So that's it. That's how you sync those devices in. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flip back into my portal. And um, again, the sync process will take a little bit of time. Um, what I can do is go back into Azure Active Directory here. And in Azure AD, there's a few things, again, that you need to just enable here. All right. So I'm going to go into Azure AD. I'm going to scroll back down and I'm going to click on Mobility, MDM and MAM. So this is Mobile Device Management and Mobile Application Management. And this is basically where I'm saying, hey, I'm going to allow all my users to join my organization and likewise so they can install any applications as well. All right. So again, I'm just going to click on save. And you can see it generates the links for your users. So if you want them to be able to join their devices, that's great. And I'm also going to click on the mobile application management and I'm going to say, yes, my users can use mobile application management. All right. So that's that done. Now, there's also some other things that you can do, do here. You can configure things like company branding. Um, you can also set up things like, um, you know, roaming profiles here as well. And uh, I'm just going to flip over here into my C drive. And one of the nice things about Azure AD Connect is if I come into my C drive um, and into program files, you'll notice that in here it actually installs a folder called Azure AD Sync. And in the Azure AD Sync folder, 
um, there is actually a UI shell and you can see this is the tool that installs what we call the synchronization services manager and in here you can actually this is kind of a graphical sync tool so I can say yeah I want to uh, run the sync tool and I can choose either a full or a delta synchronization okay and with that delta synchronization I can just run that tool and it will go off and it will perform a, a synchronization and this includes any device so this will include the devices now if I go and refresh the display we, you can see that we're starting to see those devices come in and it just takes a little bit of time for those devices to come in all right so there you have it, a little bit of Azure AD Connect version 2.0. That's the latest sync tool uh, from Microsoft. I really hope you enjoyed this and that you learned something. Now, if you did, of course, I love your feedback. So go ahead, uh, click on the subscribe button, ring the bell, and you won't miss out on the good stuff in the future. And who knows where I'll be next time. Okay, comments, questions about any of my videos, please get them down below, uh, and I'd love to hear your feedback. All right, so until next time, you stay safe, and I'll see you out there. Take care. Thanks for dropping by. Hope you enjoyed the video. Go ahead and click on the subscribe button and ring that bell, and you won't miss a thing. See you next time.